Hello awesome people, welcome back to Airport CEO. Last episode we set up a whole lot of services and I feel a sneeze coming. Uh, blah. Okay, it's gone. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry about that. But yeah, we have the catering depot. Uh, average meal preparation time one minute, uh, already operation cost. Uh, what does this do? Oh, it means how fast you can prepare them. Ah. Let's set it to two times and let's see what happens. It would be a little bit faster. It costs a little bit more money, but we have the money. So for now, we don't have to worry about it. Uh, and then we have the waste depot. So basically we can clean our uh, our airplanes. Uh, we can waste pickup. We can always do that if we have a lot of waste there. Uh, and we have our fuel and we have the de-icing pad, which I don't think is, has been used yet, but that's okay. Uh, and what we're gonna do today is we're gonna have a crack at hopefully making a simple baggage carousel uh, area for people to, you know, uh, so that we can actually automate that, that stuff with the uh, conveyor belts and everything. So that is what we're gonna do today. Hopefully we, we will succeed. Uh, this is not the most easy thing to do, uh, but we will try and do this. So I'm gonna build this. Uh, and what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna pause the game for a little while because this needs to go. Uh, we have to build a wall. We could actually do this and take the wall a little bit back, which is probably better. And then we take this wall out because uh, somewhere in this wall, we could go actually to here. Somewhere in that wall, we need to connect uh, the uh, baggage thingy, baggage machine to the road, uh, to the outside. So we have to do that. Uh, if we don't go in here, we have the wall. We can place the wall just, just like that. That is totally fine. And uh, now we do flooring. So we have that darker flooring, which is, I think, this one. No, it's the other one. Is it this one? No. Which one is it? Oh, it's this one. Yeah, okay, nice. So that one is it, is that. Uh, we do a staff zone right over here at the end. And uh, this is also gonna be a staff zone. All this is gonna be staff zone because uh, yeah, this is gonna be the barracks carousel, so no other people allowed. Um, what we could do, however, is have a small door in here that will allow uh, people in, in here uh, from our staff, of course. This is already staff zone, uh, this, this, this brownish area. So patient, uh, patients, passengers, <laughs> passengers will not enter here. Uh, so let's go on about with that. Uh, and let's see, where can we place our baggage carousels? So this, I have to think about this because this has been a while. Uh, the baggage claim area, that's for the passengers, right? So that is some, somewhere up here. Probably we're gonna do that. Um, this is the baggage bay. So this is used for uploading, uh, unloading and offloading baggage to and from baggage trucks. So if we place this over here, it, it, this is actually marked as inside, okay? No, I'm gonna do it like that. We're gonna place a second one right here. So we have two. I'm not sure if we have to use two, but that's okay. Uh, and we're gonna place walls. Whoops, we're gonna place walls over here, uh, in the middle here and over here. That will help out. Uh, so we have openings now, which need to be connected, of course. So we do this, 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 and that. And that should fix itself. Yeah, that's amazing. Um, okay, well, we have two of these now. Ramp agents. Okay, we need to hire a crap load of ramp agents in the future then. Uh, so what do we do? Let's start with this one. Because this is going to be... We're going to do a very, very good scanning check and everything. And because I'm not really used to doing this anymore, we're probably not going to be as compact as we can. Um, so what we're going to do... We're gonna just take a look at what we have. So we have a, uh, a baggage scanner, which is just a simple baggage scanner. We don't really have to do much with that. That should be in front of everything, I guess. Organic scanner, gun scanner, explosive scanner, drug scanner, money scanner. Um, scanning station used for manual scanning. So that is the sort of the last resort. And then we have a baggage destroyer. So everything that is has bad stuff in it can be destroyed. And we have the baggage bay, which we already placed down. So I'm guessing we should start with a baggage scanner. Um, 
And this is the part, this, this up area is where baggage goes out, basically. Um, so this, this needs to be connected to here. Um, so if we do like that, baggage scanner. Um, so this should be the end, actually. Okay, we can work back from the end, that's fine. So if we have the baggage destroyer up here. So we could have like an area there where baggage will get destroyed if it's bad. And then we have the manual scanner, which needs to be... Okay, this is kind of a bit weird now. Um, I'm just going to plop them down and see what we can do. So we have the manual scanner. Uh, that's sort of the last resort. Then we're going to do like money scanner. So you go... Okay, yeah, they all go down, which is annoying, but we can always place this somewhere else. So let's, let's do one apart. Let's do one in between, if we can't do that. So drug scanner, same deal. Uh, explosive scanner, same deal. Um, gun scanner. Probably we're just gonna let all the baggage go through everything. So we have organic scanner. And we have the generic scanner. Whoops, the, the, the generic ba baggage scanner, uh, which should be placed like that. Okay, we have to remove this because this needs to, whoops, because this needs to go down. So what we do now is we just connect it up and we'll see where we end up, basically. Uh, so conveyor belt system, in this conveyor belt system we need to have conveyor belts, of course. So this is a tilt tray, we don't really need it. This is an escalator up, down, this is just a normal conveyor belt. Uh, in here, we're going to use normal conveyor belts because we need to make sure that this works. So we can just plop this down here and that should work. Quite nice. So yeah, that's that's pushing along the baggage, basically. Now we have the baggage destroyer. If we place that run over here, for instance. Um, yeah, if we place this one over here, then we can have this line go up over or under this area where we're going to connect all of this. Uh, and we can make it over here. So I think that's going to work out. Uh, let's see. Let's take this, um, have, we don't have to have a high speed there because I, I'd rather just that it, that it goes in basically. <laughs> I'd rather have it just going in um, at, normal, at a normal rate. So that one is weird. So we have to do it like that. Ah, so that is how it works. Can we, can we please connect all, I'm not sure if this will work. Um, tilt tray. What, what if we, whoops. What if we do this? If we place a tilt tray in here, what will happen? Can we set something here? Uh, this will always go. Oh, that, that didn't work as planned. Okay. Uh, we will go a conveyor belt system. We're gonna do it a little bit different, I guess. Uh, let's see. Conveyor belt. Let's actually take this out and see what we can do. If we do it like that, that doesn't work. If we do it like this, that doesn't work. For some reason, it doesn't connect. Um, this works. But then that doesn't work. So basically, let's do this, oops, and just bring it down one extra then, and let's see what we can do. Can we do it like this? Let me get rid of that one and bring it down. I'm not sure if this is gonna work. I think it might be a graphical issue where it doesn't work, but that's okay. I think this should work. It looks a little bit weird, but I think if we actually go back into the uh, conveyor belt system here and we just do that one speed. Okay, these are not working. So we have to do that. And the rest should be working fine. Okay, so now we are gonna immediately take this up. So we're gonna do down. We're gonna go down right here. 
immediately and take the high speed high speed conveyor belt oh actually we could uh we could go with high speed straight away i guess so if we do that then we do high speed escalator down if we just take this away put it there and then high speed conveyor belt this this doesn't work but is it because uh we have to go down maybe yeah that's it okay let's just go up here now we have to basically go up and then make a area where it comes up so if we now make the baggage claim area which we could do like over here for instance let's do this as a baggage claim area um we can make a carousel and then make a point where it should come up so if we do like a carousel it should be like a conveyor belt um let's do it like this this should do it actually it's even a bit wide but that's okay and then right here in the middle somewhere we're gonna have that um that conveyor belt system feeding this this carousel so we're gonna have a high speed escalator up must be placed underneath a terminal so if we go like over here uh it goes like that so page down put it up page up and then we have that opening here and then we have the conveyor belt Do we have a high speed one i think we should just add it in there and that should help out now if we go down we can see where it is and we can connect it so this should be gucci let's do this down and then we should connect this up and that should work out that is working so go back up it seems like this is actually working so if we take this and basically set it to on and we now have to filter by more ramp agents uh is these are applicants yes these are applicants so let's hire you uh sure let's hire you let's just hire you too do we have a few uh let's open this up uh this this area how can we open this up we can open it up okay amazing uh we can connect the baggage bay to the this one yeah that is working um do we have to connect it to something else no probably we have to connect these though okay so we have to probably do this so baggage handling enabled connect the baggage bay okay you can't do that because you are handling a flight same thing for you so we have to basically wait until we have a gap in our uh in our schedule <laughs> that's basically it so for now uh this should all work out oh the only thing is this isn't connected yet so almost forgot that jeez um so what we should do we have a high speed escalator down um actually you don't need to have to we can just put it straight to the wall maybe no we can't um well we could make some what we oh what we could do which uh is something that you see on a lot of airports actually is if we put this in and we just go whoops straight through the wall basically this uh is not really what i wanted but that's okay we're gonna see how it works out um we're just gonna put this in and now we're gonna add everything where they have that little thing going that little uh, that little uh carousel basically that, that little thing going uh conveyor belt that's the word i'm searching for uh i'm gonna put this in so high speed conveyor belt we're actually gonna get rid of this we're actually gonna get rid of all of these for now because they are annoying uh in a sense <laughs> and we're gonna open this up uh to say that at least whoops this is all staff zone so no passengers allowed they shouldn't come there but you know you never know uh conveyor belts are working so what we should do now is go back in high speed conveyor belt and just make sure we connect it up to here so this area 
is gonna have that and you just go up and this should add up add up there and you should go there 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 and you should go there and that should help out yeah um actually what we could do is we could go right around here and okay this is not going to work out so we're going to just take out all this and go down go down with you go down with you go down with you this should all connect up pretty easily it should work and that's it so these guys don't work i guess i'm not sure what what is what's happening so if we go and take a look at the um when you do conveyor belt yeah these are working these aren't working but maybe ah they were just too fast so if we put it on one speed they actually are working okay so let's put it on free speed again so we can have some more planes coming in uh we can push it off and now can we connect this no of course not we have planes we have planes okay ah uh, okay so you are gone now so we should be able to connect you right no you're still when is that plane gone are oh, you already incoming so that's annoying <laughs> oh oh we have some de-icing going on nice we have some de-icing going on that is very cool uh so the last thing we have to do but i'm gonna do that off camera uh is connect these well actually we could try and do it right now so if we now take over airline class requirements sure i bleh. i don't really care to be honest uh offered we have a lot of small aircraft but you know i want i want to have all medium aircrafts basically for now um let's see how are we gonna do this so saturday sunday we have really busy days um so actually what we could do uh is say that this is not gonna help so we're gonna have a, have to wait a few days um till about here and then we have we can put it on back on but then we have uh the ability to connect the baggage bay so for now we should actually say we are not gonna do this uh we are not gonna do baggage handling we are only gonna do that when um <laughs> when we actually have the ability to do so uh but yeah this is actually working out so for now we can actually start working on this area a little bit we could do some more nice 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 flooring maybe over here so concrete light uh, Let's, let's do the fancy mat a little bit here. So like something like that. So that, that's the baggage carousel. And then we could do some seating around it to make it a little bit prettier. And that people actually have a way of, you know, just sitting here and uh, enjoying themselves. That's not gonna work out. Um, if we do it like that, that should work out a little bit better. Um, here, and then we have maybe like, like so. And then we can do some plants and some trash cans, I guess. Let's do trash cans first. Let's do trash cans there. Uh, because people who come out of their flight most often have a lot of trash um, that they want to get rid of. So let's put some plants in here. And that's basically it. We can put some smaller plants like uh, these. These are quite nice. Put them over there. That's it. So we have the baggage area done. And that should work out. Requirements are fulfilled. So this, this is all good. Uh, it's all connected. Okay, we need a baggage truck. That's the other thing we also need, of course. So procurements, we should get um, some of those. So where are they? Baggage truck, roofless, roofless. I want a one with a roof. Can we do that? No, apparently not. Do we have them up here somewhere? Large pool force baggage truck, yeah. We're gonna hire two of you. That's gonna be it. So that's gonna work out hopefully fine. 
Uh, and uh, yeah, that's going to be the end of this episode, guys. We have set up a very simple uh, baggage carousel area. So hopefully we can do this in the next episode, get to the point where we can actually get this to work uh, so that we can connect these stands. Go, oh, we can actually do it right now, which is awesome. That one is now connected. This one is not connected. So this one is at least, which is cool. So we have to wait for that one a little bit. How, how come is that not... Oh, okay, we have a little gap in there, so that, that, that's, I guess, fine. Um, yeah, hopefully we can get that, that other one done in the next episode too. If you guys have enjoyed them, please make sure to leave a like and or a comment. It really helps the channel out. Uh, and, you know, you guys have been so good at that in the start of the season. So let's please keep that up. And if you haven't, then please make sure to subscribe. Do not miss out on a single episode of this series, but also of other series on the channel. And, of course, it really helps the channel out again. So, as always, I've been Hipbone, you've been yourself, thanks for being awesome, and thanks for watching.